Okay, so we are going to talk about episode 9, BGC 17, Sin City Showdown. And most importantly, guys, okay, so Oxygen keeps up with our social media, um, Instagram, Snapchat, YouTube, whatever else. So how funny is this? You guys remember, I don't remember if it was this season or last season, I brought up the fact of how every on every reality show they always say at the end of the day like it's ridiculous so how come the bgc farewell which i have to show you something later on you do you remember what it was at the end of the day oh my god I know they got that from me. Um, do I get a check for that? Because they showed everybody's clips saying at the end of the day. And I think they put me second. I'm like, well, I came up with that. I'm the one that pointed that out. Shouldn't I? Wait, let me go back. Yeah, my video. Okay, wait. It was Julie first. And I'm like second. I'm like, no, I should have been first. Like, I'm the one that pointed that out. Okay, whatever. Um, that was really, really funny that they did it and it was really cute. Oh, so I don't know if you guys noticed. So, you know, this rumor has been going around and of course, keep in mind, they watch people's social media and stuff. So they know what's going on in the whole BGC world. Did you not notice at the very end of the video, it says, say farewell to BGC. And then it says for now, dot, dot, dot. I don't think it's over. Maybe they taking like a year break. Maybe they doing something. Um, I definitely feel like they maybe should have went to like number 20, like a, an even number and then made number 20, like BGC 13, like a redemption with different bad girls or, you know, some sort of different theme to it with cast members from seasons one through 19. I don't know, but I just thought it was, um, there's a reason it says for now. So don't be getting all upset. I went to PetSmart earlier today and this guy's like really, really cool who rang me up. He was like, I'm so sad. Bad Girls Club is over. And when I saw that for now thing, I'm like, I can read between the lines. It says for now for a reason. Um, yeah. So, you guys, I have no makeup on. I just got out the shower, but uh, my hair is almost dry. See, these are the eyebrows I have tattooed on. You know, I'd be, like, filling them in and stuff. This one looked better than this one. But I'm going to get the microblading done again once I get these lightened. All right. I've been talking for two and a half minutes and we haven't even um, started the review. So I guess we're going to start the review. Uh, so as I predict, because I did predict. You remember I kept saying at the end of the day? So at the end of the day, I predict that Bad Girls Club isn't over for good. Okay, so the episode starts with the girls are screaming. They're going to Vegas. They're all screaming their high-pitched voice. I don't even know how to scream. My acting coach, Greg Allen, uh, like a few months back when I had to do this scene, he was like, well, scream. I'm like, I don't know how to scream. He was like, try it. And like all the girls in the class are screaming. Like, I don't even know how to scream, which is crazy. I'd be like, oh, like if I see a bug or something, like I don't scream. I don't know. That was just never my thing. My dad would have been like toughing up if I like screamed or anything. Okay. So Seven says, you know, it's going to be another drunken night for these girls They to get nothing accomplished and no goals, I guess, because she's bragging, like, they about to go do some, her little DJ set, and Seven's, by the way, it's Thomas Jefferson's birthday today, it keeps popping up on my damn computer. Okay, Fran is excited, it's going to be her first time in Vegas, and Bree is, says she's not getting her nails done because she thinks she's going to fight again. I'm like, that's kind of annoying you going to Vegas. Clearly, they're not going on a trip because Vegas is like their trip and it's like a little driving trip. I wonder if these girls even had to get their passport. I would have been mad if I had to get my passport and pay all that money and then you just going down the street to Vegas where Bree's from. But, of course, Bree was excited because she was going back home. I would have been like, no, I want to go somewhere else. Okay, so, da-da-da, I just said that. <clears throat> So, Brie lives there, but she's homesick, so she's excited to go back home. And I'm thinking, like, it's only been a couple weeks, which later on we find out by key, it's like three weeks, which is like the same thing. That's um, a real quick time to be homesick. So, they go on the road trip. They're all singing tequila, blah, 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 98 bottles of whatever, tequila, Patron. And I'm thinking, like, I am not, like, big into road trips. Kelsey loves road trips. I took her on two before. We went to Destin one time. We went to... Miami the second and it was for her. the first trip was for her making good grades in high school one year I think she made all A's so we took her to Destin we drove down so she's that type of person who wants to sing and play games and stop and do this that and stuff like you can miss me with that I'll get on a day of plane I ain't like big into like road trips and driving and stuff like that's not my thing either 
Okay, so the girls stop at Dino Land, and there's like a koi fish, like little pond. It looked dirty as hell. I've always wanted a koi fish pond. I want it in my house, though. I think it would be dope, like walking over a bridge of koi fish. Because y'all know I got like a bunch of African cichlids and now angel fish. Like, I love fish. All right, so they get to the hotel, and a lady named Brianna takes the girls to their suite at Golden Nugget. Weird name, I know. Friend asks how y'all want to sleep, and Key takes the four-bedroom um, room and her reasoning is because it's their opportunity and it's for them and saying that why are the other girls talking shit about their room they need to get their priorities together it's not about them and it's like she's almost trying to play victim like she's like we're here for me and seven's accomplishments not them like they're trying to make it about them you know damn well what you did about taking the four bed bedroom when there's four of them and three of y'all like i get you want the nicer bedroom but it's not really all about y'all this is about baggers club the tv show and it's the one trip that all of you guys are taking so Yes, this is like something for you, but at the same time, I'd be like, well, you get to perform, you get to DJ, so we get the nicer room, so we get something too, because this is our trip too. That's what my reasoning would have been. I wish there was four against three. I wish those four girls would have just went in that room and moved their stuff over and had like an all-out war, because the three girls would have left because they don't want all that drama with, you know, them doing the show and stuff. I think that's what they should have done. Like, no, nah, we get in the four-bed bedroom. Like, that's just absolutely crazy. I definitely wouldn't have... um I wouldn't have done that. Okay. Um, by the way, there's like so much pollen and stuff in Georgia. I can like barely breathe right now. And I'm not, <laughs> I'm itching my leg. Y'all know I had this vein surgery, right? I got this big ass, um, compression garment on my leg. It is so tight. I got to wear it all day, every day for two weeks. Yeah. It, um, it's like strangling my leg and it's like healing and stuff. So it's itchy. I'm doing... My left leg on Friday, so I'm going to be looking real crippled. I'm going to have two of these things on. Okay, next, Brie and Fran are bonding naked in the hot tub, saying, you know, they're closer now since they fought. Fran says guys fight, and they're friends, like, the next day. Why can't girls do it, too? Um, I want to know how you guys feel about that. Do you think it's weird? Do you think it's fake? How do you feel about Fran and, Fran and Brie being friends now? Hmm... I don't really care either way. I'm cool with it. I don't really care. I don't know. I don't really care. There's just so much other drama to be worried about right, than worried about Brie and Fran being friends. But it is kind of weird now that I think about it. I wouldn't have guessed this from two episodes ago that this would happen. Okay. Next. Ta da da. Key and Seven go on the radio. They do a shout out to Shay. 7.15 in the morning. Good for them for getting up early and probably not drinking that much the night before because that's really, really early to be doing your hair and makeup and showing up at 7.15. But hey, I've done it. I went to Columbia High School for the second time um, two years back to back to do like uh, career day, entrepreneurships, talking and um, like motivation talk, whatever. And I was up. I didn't go to bed till like four or five in the morning. My cousin was like, yeah, we're going to Columbia High School. We got to be there at eight. And this is the one you went to last year. You should come. I'm like, damn, I'm going to get not even three hours of sleep. And I did. I did my hair and makeup, put on a little cute outfit, put on heels. And I'm glad I did put on heels because I had to walk up in front of an auditorium of like a hundred something kids, maybe 150. I don't know. There was a bunch of people. And uh, I'm glad I wouldn't be lazy putting on sneakers because, you know, you got to be cute. Okay. The other girls are at home. They're hungover. Shay takes Key. They get back and Shay takes Key to design a hat. I don't know. I'm going to talk about Shay a little bit later because it was just weird, the very ending of this episode. So she's going to work on the hat while Key and Seven go to sound check. The other four girls are going to pass out flyers. And I'm like, what the hell is that guy wearing? That guy is wearing like a thong that's going up his ass. It's only covering his balls. And it looked crazy. And then Say makes a comment about the dog walking by that has, he's like a huge dog that looks like a tiger and he's got really big balls. And she's like, his balls are bigger than my boyfriend's balls. And I'm like, that's a big ass dog. I hope that guy, that dog's balls are bigger than your boyfriend's. Like, and wait, your boyfriend, you have a boyfriend? Cause didn't you sleep with that old man? Like two episodes ago? I didn't, I just, I just caught that. I don't know, I don't know who she's talking about. I don't know. Maybe she cheated on her boyfriend. Hmm. -mm. Okay, so they go ziplining and Bree says her nipples are hard because she's so scared. Um, I didn't know your nipples get hard because you're scared, but <laughs> that's interesting. Fran seems like she's drunk, and I'm looking at her hair like, 
her hair looked like this. Actually, it looked worse. It was like all stringy and like half wet. And this part was all thick and it was like a couple strands of hair. And it was looking like real crazy. I'm like, I think she just got out of the hot tub and <laughs> went straight out. And it's like she didn't wash the chlorine out from last night. That's why it's all crunched together because it like it looked wet, but it wasn't wet. It looked a damn mess. It looked like my hair look <laughs> right now, but I have a reason. I just got out of the shower. I ain't on TV and I ain't running around Vegas looking like that. Okay, next they're at sound check and Key's mic is having issues and of course her nerves are all up and I can imagine why I would be nervous and kind of freaking out too because that's a lot of pressure to perform in front of all those people and it's your first time and you're having issues with the mic. You're thinking about that later on. Like what if the mic has issues later? So I'm sure that's a scary feeling. Okay, that night the girls go to the club. Brief, Bree's friends are there. Key's mom gets to come. That was really, really nice. And then Hoppa? He comes to help Seven DJ. She's crying. She's all happy. Okay, so Kiki says Seven is doing good. She's doing a good job even though she doesn't like her. Seven says she doesn't know how high of a high she's feeling. It's probably She'll probably never feel this high ever again. And I'm thinking, like, that is such a negative way to think because you're like, I'm telling you, the law of attraction and speaking stuff into existence and stuff like that, it's, like, all true. Like, God spoke the earth in existence let there be light let there be this let there be that right so I'm a firm believer in you have to speak of what you want so if she's saying oh my god this is the best moment the best moment of my life I'll probably never ever feel like this ever again then that is going to be your high moment and probably the highest you're ever gonna feel in your life um, later on key says something which I like what she said even though she's not my favorite in reference to um, this situation and I'll get to it because I don't really remember what it was but I know I wrote it down so I don't like that she says that that's a very negative feeling um, to say like it, you should say things and put it out there like oh my god this is the best feeling ever I can't wait to have more feelings like this and I'm gonna keep doing these shows and doing this and this it's gonna get bigger and bigger and better and better that's what you talk about you don't talk about I ain't never gonna feel like this again because you're right you ain't never gonna feel like that again if you believe that and you say that and put it out there Okay, so Key performs and all the girls go up there dancing and she does a really good performance. Um, she says that it was amazing. She was stressing all for nothing and she says she can only go up from here. And that's exactly what I mean. That's the way to go up, up, and up. No matter if you're a mean person like Key and always negative, the fact of when she's speaking about her own life, she is talking it up, having confidence, and of course bringing good things into her life. So I like that she said that. That's a good belief to have and say and do. And the reason I'm stressing this is to teach you guys something. You should do that. Like speak positive things in your life. Even with Bad Girls Club, I was like, I'm going on that show. Got denied the first time. I'm going on that show. I got denied a second time. <laughs> Third time came around, I said, this is really the time because third time's a trial. I'm going on the show. And then it was crazy. I mentioned Marriage Boot Camp after Tanisha and Natalie did it. Next thing you know, they called me to be on Marriage Boot Camp. You know, now I'm about to be in a movie. I'm about to have my own TV show. I'm about to have all this great stuff. And guess why? Because I believe it. I say it. And it's going to happen. Like, it always happens um, if you say it and you believe it. Okay, so after the performance, Key's mom says her uncle died, and it was good that she waited till after the show. I feel like she could have waited a little bit later, but I think um, they're about to leave, you know, so she had to, I know she wanted to tell her in person. She doesn't want to wait till too late, and she doesn't even know about the funeral, and it was really her only moment to do it was after the performance, and who knows how much time they were spending together before she actually told her, so it probably was the one and only time that she could tell her in person while her being on the show. Okay, so Seven comes in all happy and she's like, are those tears of joy? And of course her mom's like, no, someone just passed. So that's really sad, I feel bad for her. But then what happens next is absolutely crazy and I just don't understand, I don't get, it was really, really weird. Okay, so in the limo, Key's crying and the other girl's like, what's going on type thing and Seven gets rude, she's like, first, like, shut up, don't ask, don't ask any questions about the performance. And then she finally says, like, oh, someone in her family just passed. Like, why couldn't you just say that to begin with? Like, you just want to be negative and, like, mean and seem bossy. Like, why are you telling them, shut up, don't ask nobody for it? Bitch, who are you telling to shut up? Like, no, you ain't telling me to shut up. Shut up? Like, no. They get back to the house on the balcony and Key asks Bree, what's wrong with you? Because Bree's like teary-eyed talking to say. Key rudely says, I don't get to see my family either. I go through this every day. So what, she's home for a weekend and she's feeling some type of way? Like she's only been here for three weeks and blah, blah, blah. So I don't know. 
Key just lost her uncle and she's still trying to pick on other people. I almost feel like maybe she's trying to get sent home so she can go home and be with her family instead of her quitting and going home. She's like, maybe if I get kicked off, I can go home to see my family. I don't know what the hell she's thinking. Um, but she says, you know, I don't know. This, this shit was just weird to me. So Key's all mad saying we all going through shit. Shay goes to comfort Bree and says, you know, Bri uh, Key just lost her uncle and that's serious. Okay, so what does that have to do with the price of tea in China? Because basically, I get what you're saying. It kind of puts yours in perspective. Like, okay, it's not that bad. Say, for instance, I cut my arm. Like, it hurts. It's bleeding. Ow, my arm hurts. You break your arm. Okay, I understand. Yours is worse than mine, and I'm glad that mine's just cut and bleeding, and yours is broken. So I would take my pain of it being cut. But your broken arm doesn't make my cut arm any less hurting, like, or worse, or that sounded really weird. It doesn't make my arm hurt less because your arm is broken. Do you understand what I mean? Yeah, I understand, like, you maybe should be crying more than me, but, like, my shit hurts too. Like, what? No. Okay, so it's not a competition of who's more sad. And that's what I feel like Bree is make or that Key is making it. So Kiki says, just because you lost a family member doesn't mean you can be a bitch. I agree with that. And that would seem like you would want to go, and maybe she doesn't want to feel vulnerable and cry, so it's it's easier for her to be angry and take her anger out. That's probably what she's doing. A lot of people deflect sadness with anger. Um, that's one thing that Ink used to do all the time. Like, when he gets sad, he gets angry. Instead of showing he's vulnerable or crying or, you know what I mean? So, that is a defense mechanism. And usually those people, people that are running around angry are in just as much pain as a person that's crying. And somebody told me this before. Say, for instance, if you see a guy running around in the street yelling, screaming, and cussing, you're going to be like, call the cops on him. I'm not going to, I ain't helping him. But if you see somebody like in the middle of the street laying down crying, you're going to pull over and be like, oh my God, are you okay? Do you need anything? What's wrong? Let me call 911. What's going on with you? You're going to want to help them. The thing that's crazy is, is that these two people are feeling the same amount of pain. One is expressing it with anger and one is expressing it with tears. So when reading people, I feel like she's taking her anger, she's taking her sadness out in anger, but I don't know, she's been angry and mean this whole damn season, so maybe it's just another damn day, I don't know. Okay, so Key comes in while Bree is talking to Kiki and Shay, and she starts to argue with her. <laughs> uh, Bree says, like, get your hands out of my face, and then we see her, Key's hand go for Bree's neck. And what happens next is crazy so they start fighting and somehow key gets turned around and like brie is punching her right in the head and shay is trying to shay is trying to mediate oh shay says i'm trying to mediate like quit so they get split up clearly i feel like brie won this fight i don't know how key was turned around backwards key's the one that started it went to choke her or grab her neck whatever and she's turned around backwards getting beat in the head and Seven is getting all pissed off. So Kiki gives Brie a high five. She's like, you beat her ass. Seven gets pissed that Kiki's laughing, saying it's not okay for Kiki to laugh when Key got hit in her moment of weakness. And I'm like, yes and no. And the reason is because Key started this whole damn thing out of nowhere. Like, she started it. Like, she wanted to fight. Seven's all trying to, like, get past security to fight Kiki. And Key's saying Brie didn't even land nothing. And for Seven just to let it go. For one, Brie landed auto. She hit you in the head like 10 times. And then secondly, yo, this shit crazy. Because like Seven, I don't know if she's delusional or, if, you know, that's your friend. You always going to have your friends back. Maybe she didn't really see what's happening. But Key started all of this. So it's not like, oh, she hit her in her moment of weakness. Like if somebody attacks you, you're going to defend yourself. Key attacked Brie. Brie was like minding her business. She attacked her verbally on the balcony. Brie walked away. Then she comes up to her and puts her hands on her, and then Brie fights back. <laughs> Key asked for this completely. She deserved what she got. Her uncle passing away has nothing to do with anything because she started this. She asked for this. This was not Brie taking advantage of Key in her moment of vulnerability. Why these girls are playing victim now, I have no idea because that's like the pot calling the kettle black. They were saying Fran was playing victim earlier. Now, they trying to play victim when clearly... Key was wrong for what she did. And she got beat up for it. 
<laughs> so friend says karma always comes back around and karma's name is Bree. And I agree with that. So the next morning, Key says she was upset about last night. She don't know what happened. She said, Bree tried to play me. She tried to play me. And Seven said, even though these girls tried to ruin Vegas, it was a huge success. I don't feel like the other girls were trying to ruin Vegas. For one, Key started it with picking the four bedroom room and like, no, this is our thing. Y'all take three beds, even though there's three of us and four of y'all. And then, of course, putting her hand on Bree's neck. And, of course, trying to fight with her on the balcony. Like, no, y'all tried to ruin Vegas. Like, what is going on? So the girls drive home. Key is taking in what happened and says Brie tried to play her once again and she needs to see her fair and square. Bitch, it was fair and square. If anything, it wasn't fair on her end because she was upset too and then you just decided to grab her neck out of nowhere. Key and Seven then plan to attack Kiki and Brie with no warning when they get home and I think that's a bitch move because they're not even going to say anything like, yo, what's up? they just going to go and swing like as somebody's walking in the house. Like, you ain't, how are you going to even expect that? Like, that's not, that's not no fair and square like you sucker punching somebody even though they looking at you they don't know what's going on because you didn't even have a conversation there was no argument there was no nothing you just gonna hit them out of the middle of nowhere that ain't no fair and square anything so the girls are putting on sneakers they're braiding their hair what's her name he's wearing a bonnet and they ready to attack and they gonna say nothing and attack them so Shay then goes out with the other girls so at the end okay so that's the end of the thing we get to see the fight next week um so i'm excited about that and of course that's going to be the finale episode 10 since they've been cutting the season short and shay goes out with the other girls they think that key and seven are not coming back to the house we see their pictures gone the girls get excited shay goes out with the girls she says she's had the most fun she's had all season i think she even kisses brie on the lips or somebody or did i just make that up I know she's crying saying she had more fun with them on the last two days than she had all season. And we see Key back at the house and Seven. She's like, oh, I can't. She probably up under these people and da, da, da. Like, what did you expect her to do? Did you expect her to be at home crying and sitting there by herself because y'all left her? So I'm glad that Shay did get to have fun her last couple days. But I think she made a comment like, I'm going to miss y'all more than I'm going to miss my roommates that I've been having which I thought that was a little weird. But then again, she was drunk. She was crying. She did get to have fun the last couple days. I do feel like if Shay was friends with the other girls, she would have been able to be more of herself and have fun and her personality stand out because really we didn't get to see much of her all season long. So I don't know. All right. For one, I want to say hi to at underscore B Lynn. Or is it one three Lynn? Oh my god, I don't remember if it's a capital B or if it's a 1-3. And I want to say thank you for your sweet comments, and I'm glad that you appreciate my videos, and I love you. And the second one is to C Strong 14 who asked about my vein situation and Kiko. Kiko is doing good, and my leg is still wrapped up. So yeah, ooh yeah, see this blood, they be blood and stuff. Um... All right, let me get to your questions. So look at all the cute stuff I bought. Oh, I only got 4% battery. I got a new camera case. It's rose gold. Remember I told you I've been wanting all rose gold stuff. My Android phone. My MacBook. Or not my MacBook. My MacBook. My MacBook's rose gold too, but that's what I'm filming on. My iPad. And then my cute little pins. I bought all these on Amazon. So cute. Everything's rose gold. All right, 4%, guys. Let me hurry. Questions... No, go back, go back. So I hope you guys are all having a wonderful week. Oh my God, I only have 3%, 2%. How's it going down so quick? All right, I'm going to cut this and I'm going to add questions right after because I'm on 2% battery and it is dying. I have no time to fight with egos and small minds, says Business Mindset 101. I'll be right back. Okay, so to your questions, I got my phone charging now. Um, we have four percent, and it's going up. I don't know how it went down to six five four three two, as I like open it and I didn't even do anything. All right, so Lauren Nicole underscore <clears throat> says, "Oh my goodness, here comes my doggy." Who do you love the most and hate the most this season? Um, I wouldn't say hate. We're gonna go with like and dislike. I like Brie the most, and I dislike key because she's being mean and negative but i feel like she would be cool in real life i think she's just like taking this bad girls club thing way too far kiko come say hi he brought me his newspaper look what he brought me come here come say hi come here come show them your pretty face come here hey he won't show you uh come say hi oh so sweet i mean torture my little doggy don't i give me your toy go get it go get it go okay Next is 
Daryl Wood says, I've been a big fan of you since day one. You need to unfollow Ricky. She ain't even following you, and she's ungrateful after y'all reuniting. Okay, I don't, for one, I don't know how you guys see if somebody's following you or not following you. Like, how do y'all know she's not following me, for one? And secondly, I'm not going to unfollow her if she's not following me. Um, I'm cool with her. I like her. Like, we cool. We acquaintances. We cordial. Um, so I ain't gonna unfollow her. I mean, I don't know why she ain't following me, but if it's even true, it might not even be true. Y'all be like trying to start shit. I know that. Y'all be like trying to get people to say something so then you can like record that one little clip and be like, such as I said this about you. So I don't even know that's true. Okay. Okay, dot Seb, SCB1031, what is your favorite holiday? Oh, that's a different type of question. My favorite holiday. Hmm. When I used to party a lot, I used to love um, 4th of July because you get to go to the pool and have fun and drink and dance and stuff like that. I like Christmas. I get to spend it with my family. I like wrapping gifts. I like buying people gifts. It's not necessarily for me. I feel like I, I, I more enjoy doing Christmas by cooking, entertaining, and buying gifts for other people. Okay, duh underscore King Vante, D-A, says, who's your favorite and least favorite? Oh, I just answered that. And who do you act the most like? I don't act the most like none of them. Um, I would say Brie is a little bit similar to me, and that's probably why I like her, because she is a blonde. Um, she got a nice body, and she sticks up for herself, and she talks shit when she needs to, but she doesn't, I don't feel like she starts something out of nowhere. But she does defend herself. Okay, Nye.Vec underscore, do you think Oxygen will have a BGC marathon on from season 1 through 17? I feel like they should, and as I said, I think they just over for now, but not for good. Maybe it's going to get, um, a different network's going to pick it up. That might be what happens, so goodbye for now, like Bagos Club might be going to a different network. It's underscore Shawnee says, you never answer my questions, even though I know you already know I said that just to get you to answer the question. <laughs> <laughs> but who are your top five favorite bad girls from any season? All right, so I would have to name the people that I'm closest to, right? Or is it strictly viewers? Um, in order, Tanisha was first, then it was Natalie, then it was Judy, and then, of course, Tiana's my friend, and then I really love Shelly. She became my really close friend after All Star Battle. We had like a good connection, even though we don't talk that much. So I'm gonna be, I'm gonna go with the safe answers and just name people that I'm cool with. Um, if you want to know from the past few seasons, remember I really liked Hanan, Hanan, Hanan and Susu, um, Brianna, of course, this season. I liked. Um, I can't even remember girls' names anymore. And actually, this is crazy. So from season nine, I actually did really like Megan. Um, me and Megan are cool now. And it was so crazy. I'm like, I liked Megan on her season because she, like, fought back and stuff. You know, she was just like, she came up behind Rima and stuff. And I was like, oh, she kind of snuck her. And, uh, of course, on battle, me and Megan had, like, the biggest rivalry, rivalry ever. But we were real cool now. Um, so I like Megan. Um, I don't think anybody says this, but was it season? What was the season with Redhead Sydney? I like Nikki from that season, and only because she was different. She was like the little girl that always said like, bro, bro, bro. Like she was different. She was like tomboyish and wanted to play sports and stuff. And my friend be calling every time. I be trying to do these questions and I can't answer the phone. I'm about to ignore him. All right. By the way, I had coffee at like one in the morning. It's now 2 a.m. That's probably why I'm talking so damn much. But y'all complained about the last video was rushed. Now you're about to get this long ass video of me rambling about 20 different topics that you ain't even ain't even related to the Bad Girls Club. Okay. RAF Dubs 88 Power Rangers Bad Girls Club and NBA games are my favorites to watch on TV. With a couple kisses. Okay. Mwah. I don't know what the hell that was for, but okay, cool. Um Glowing Isle says, what did you think about Brie playing basketball with Key's head? Yeah, that was good stuff. <laughs> and that was a good analogy, what you just said. That's really, really funny. Oh, wait, that would be a metaphor because you didn't use the word like or as. That is a metaphor, guys. 
All right, Dolly with two eyes underscore says, I miss watching you on TV. You need your own show. It is in the works. I promise you I'm about to have one coming up soon. I've talked to a few different people. I'm trying to figure it out now. And like I said, you got to speak it into existence. I'm going to have my own show soon. You guys going to love it. It's going to be different from anything else that's on TV. And last is Tina So Smiley says, Key is always running her mouth and she tried to choke Brie and turn around and say Brie's wrong. What the hell? <laughs> okay, so that's not really a question. And she did a little emoji like this. That's the way I feel. Like, what? And then she played victim. She was like, but you ain't even land nothing. But now let's fight fair and square. Like, you caught me when I was vulnerable. I can't. I can't. That was so stupid. But I'm excited for the next episode. I'm excited for the finale. I hope you guys are too. And, um... Yeah, I'm about to start working on this app. Y'all know I've been working on this app nonstop. And if you haven't downloaded my app, you didn't see how cute the little um, app icon is. Isn't it so cute? Wait. Oh, there it is. It's little scissors, and it says emoji at the top, and then it says me with a little smiley face. So it looks like it's cutting the me part with a smiley face. It's super, super cute. I came up with that myself with the help of my mommy and my cousin David. Sleep is for suckers. Okay, Kiko is moving this damn computer all over the place. Good night, guys. Say hi, Kiko. Bye. Mwah. He be doing the most.